Hi everyone, I'm Allie Diamond, and this is ThreatWire for January 3rd, 2024. And this is your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. This past week at the 37th Chaos Communication Congress, researchers from Moscow-based Kaspersky revealed a highly complex zero-click iMessage attack leading to remote code execution and root access for installing spyware payloads on iPhones. The exploit, named Operation Triangulation, is a chain of attacks taking place over 10 different parts of the hardware and software and utilizing four different CVEs. In the team's formal write-up, they state, if we try to describe this feature and how the attackers took advantage of it, it all comes down to this. They are able to write data to a certain physical address while bypassing the hardware-based memory protection by writing the data, destination address, and data hash to unknown hardware registers of the chip unused by the firmware. To summarize what happens, a PDF sent via iMessage takes advantage of a font created by Apple. The exploit then uses return-oriented programming and jump-oriented programming kernel manipulation, memory corruption, and Safari vulnerabilities to get root access to install malware. All of this is a zero interaction attack valid on iPhones up to iOS version 16.2, so please be sure to update your phone as soon as possible to the new version of iOS 17. Many of the CVEs utilized in this attack had patches slowly rolled out over 2023. However, the depth and understanding of how the CVEs work were never truly divulged until now. The over 50 minute talk is available on YouTube, so I've linked it down below if you wanna learn more. A new Google exploit has been spreading across malware groups and information stealing software in a blaze. In mid-October, a threat actor by the name of Prisma shared they found a way to allow Google cookies to persist through token manipulation. The persisted Google cookies work by taking advantage of the undocumented Google OAuth endpoint named multi-login, used for synchronizing Google accounts across services. Through the manipulation of a token and Google account and ID administration pair with a proprietary private key, bad actors are able to regenerate Google service cookies. These cookies continue to persist and function even after a Google account password reset. The original exploit was shared in a Telegram group and was rapidly reverse engineered and integrated into notorious information stealers like Luma and Radamanthus. Quickly, this propagated out to other information stealing programs. Google quietly attempted to mitigate this attack. However, the engineering teams behind the various information stealers quickly implemented a workaround, meaning that this zero day flaw is still active. A user posted a video demonstrating the zero day, so if you want to check it out, I also linked it down below. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of ThreatWire. If you enjoyed the reporting and want to support this ad-free show, please head over to patreon.com slash threatwire. Thank you so much, and we literally could not do this without you. Also, Happy New Year. Not to flex, but I did read a book every day in 2023 and ended up finishing 57 books this year. And I actually finished my last book at a New Year's Eve party, so I'm pretty proud of this achievement. But I wanna know what's something that you achieved in 2023 that you're beyond proud of. One of my New Year's resolutions in 2024 is to build more projects, continue learning about security, and create more content online. So if you wanna follow my journey, I'm always sharing my life, which I've linked below. What are some of your New Year's resolutions? Because I'm always reading and replying in the comments, and I really want to hear. Signing off, I'm Allie Diamond, at Ending with Allie Everywhere Online. Good luck, have fun, don't get caught, and let's get excited for 2024.